This is what we have that we'll be working on is temperature during phase changes. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video here. I need you to do two trials, so I need you to pick two different substances. Please do not do substance or trial one because that's what I'm going to do in the video. Make sure you go you select whatever trial you're looking at and you hit go. Otherwise, it will just stay whichever trial is on. So I'm going to go back here to trial one. And what you're going to do with this is you are going to take and you're going to collect the temperature of the substance. So we're actually going to monitor the temperature of the substance that we are putting into hot water and see what substance temperature does um, over time. To do this, you're going to have to make sure you put bring in your tools, and you bring in your stopwatch, and you're going to look at what's on your stopwatch here. You're going to set it so that it's a reasonable amount of time for you, and I'll show you how to do that. And then you're going to graph it. All right, so I'm going to graph the temperature and time. So time is going to be on the X for me, temperature is going to be on the Y. It doesn't matter how far apart you take your points. You're going to do this twice, and you're going to take a look at the graph. So getting going on this one, if I'm going to hit start, they're going to take and they're going to put the substance here into the hot water. The temperature probe is actually sitting inside there, monitoring it. Now what's happened so far is sort of completely irrelevant. So at this point, I'm going to reset my clock so that I'm starting at zero I'm on I'm going to use time as my x axis and I'm just going to hit start and what you're going to want to do as you go through here is you're going to pick certain times and so you're going to come down to your axis or your graph um, excuse me your table here and you're going to figure out what you want to plot and I'm going to put time and units of seconds over here on my y axis I'm going to choose temp and I'm going to put degrees Celsius. And then I'm just going to take and collect some data points. So if my first value here is going to be at 29.7, um, excuse me, 27.9 degrees Celsius at 67 seconds, so 67, 27.9. All right. So we're just going to keep going. And we're going to keep going and see what happens with our temperature. All right, so now I'm at 120 and it's 29.6. And you're going to keep collecting data to see what is going on. So if I'm going to keep doing this, I'm going to notice my temperature is going to level out. I have temperature 29.7 at 189. And I, you're going to keep going until you have multiple data points. I would sort of pick a reasonable um, distance between our data points. So when I was looking at it first, I was doing somewhere between around 50 seconds in between data points, because that gives me some good data at the end. I could do this one here, 241, 29.7, and you're just going to keep collecting data and see what happens. Now, once you have your data and you've collected it, you're going to finish the entire video here. You're going to come over here and you're going to graph it. I'm going to put time on the X. I'm going to put my temperature on the Y, and it's going to take, and it's going to graph my data, and it's going to notice my temperature has gone up, and then it's leveled off. If I keep going, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to skip a bunch of data points here, I'm going to notice that over time here, my temperature doesn't seem to change very much until I get to around 500 seconds, and then my temperature starts to go up again. And so you're going to continue to plot your data, you're going to see what happens to your temperature. You're going to do that for two different substances. And when you're done with two different substances, you're going to have to make two different graphs for each of the two substances. We're going to ask, what do you notice about it? Why? What's happening to the substance? Why does the temperature level off? And then you're going to take a look at these possible unknowns. And with that and with what the data that you have, you're going to identify what your two substances are. Now, I noticed that my temperature leveled off here on this graph at about 29.7. So if I come down here and I look at my possibilities, gallium has a melting point at 29.7, which is where it should level off. And so that was the identity of my substance. So do that for two different substances.